you say I can't give, that I've never given. Well, I gave in those letters. I gave my whole heart. Just to think of you fills me with warmth and with happiness. And all I want is that it should go on. I was on the beach, but I was in London with you as you tore at the envelopes. Opening the envelopes with your big hands, I could see you. God, the overwhelming power of thought. Then of course I got back and I said to you, Tom, those letters I wrote. And you said, yes, don't worry, there's a safe in our house, it's upstairs in the attic. There's no reason Alice would ever go near them. And later that morning, my first question to you, how did she find them? Oh, you said, just for the night you left them tucked away in the kitchen. You'd left them in the kitchen? No, Tom, it was not remiss. It was deliberate. Do you think we could have been happy? You and me. I'm happy like murderers, perhaps. And all the time I'd be thinking, the one thing, the one thing I asked him never to do, and he went off and he did it deliberately. We had six years of happiness, and you're the one who had to go and spoil it. Because with you, when something's right, it's never enough. You don't value happiness. You don't even realise because you always want more. I love you. For God's sake, I still love you. I love you more than anyone on earth, but I will never trust you after what's happened. <laughs>